Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're going to be talking about support blockers and how to optimize your support settings by using a little lesser known feature in the support settings known as support blockers. This came up as a comment from one of the subscribers and he said, and he asked us a very simple question. Hey, do you have a video on support blockers? Well, now I do. So uh, thanks for the suggestion. Um, this is not, a, like I said, this is not a well-documented feature as part of the support settings. Um, I, I actually had to go digging a little bit. I had to go dig through some bamboo docks. I think I had to go dig through a couple of Brusa docks too. Um, but it's very simple uh, and straightforward and probably going to save you a little bit of time. It's not a colossal time saver, um, but it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a cool little feature to have. So I've got this little test part that I've genned up in Fusion 360. Um, it is optimally, um, not op, it's forced to print basically in this particular orientation. And you can see I've got uh, auto tree supports turned on and build plate only. It really doesn't matter if you do build plate only or untick that and we slice this plate. It is going to try and throw supports underneath where the overhang settings have been applied. So inside this small three millimeter hole uh, across this overhang here, of course, it's going to try and put supports in those couple of locations um, as intended. Uh, and if we roll this slice up and down, you can see it's putting supports inside the hole and all that good stuff here. So supports for sure underneath this section. My printer has no problem printing this little hole on the, uh, a horizontal hole traversing through my, uh, a round hole, probably a uh, better point, uh, traversing through my part horizontally. I don't need supports on that, I know for sure. So why, why even do it? So I'm going to go back over here to the prepare side. I'm going to go ahead and hit the um, tree manual in this case. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and hit the support painting icon and I'm going to rotate this down just so you can see, but you can see, right? Obviously we have this area. We have this area. Now, if I turn on the fill feature here and I simply left click, I'm going to add support there turns green. And if I go over here to the hole and I right click, it turns red. So right click is your support blocker essentially. So if we now go ahead and slice the plate, you can see I have no supports now in that hole, right? That's left click versus right click. Uh, again, single hole traversing through the part, not a huge uh, filament or time saver. But if you had a bunch of horizontal holes running through a part and you didn't want the machine to bother throwing supports in it just for you to go clean them out later on, um, super uh, efficient way of getting rid of them. Now, you can take this one step further if we go back over to prepare and we go back over to the painting. Um, where if we roll this down again, now we can use some of these tools over here and we can, uh, same principles apply, right click to remove, left click to add. So I can say, right click, I don't want supports right here for whatever reason. I just don't want them right there. Slice plate. Now it's only going to put supports where it was previously green and not where it was red. Uh, you can get pretty tricky with this. This works whether you've got tree or whether you've got normal. So if we go normal manual, same thing applies, slice plate. It's going to take those areas that I had already, you know, pre-colored right and left click uh, and only add supports there. So there are support blockers. Um, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, like and subscribe. Thanks very much for your time. I'll see you on the next one.